that's I re that's what I take after is I replace that thumbnail. Hey guys. Okay, so for the playback, this is a upper body um, and core live workout. It's going to be three 10 minute circuits. <laughs> um, you will need some weights if you have them. The weights are going to be a little bit more for uh, shoulder workouts, so you can go maybe a little bit lighter. Um, between 3 to 15 pound, I would say, depending on your um, current state. Um, you can also do this without any equipment. So um, if you don't have anything, don't worry about that. Um, we will start with a five minute warm up and then we'll do a little bit of a cool down at the end. So um, and then I will explain the entire um, circuit before we do it. And then I'll explain the next circuit before we do that. So that's how we do it here. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get ready to get started in a couple minutes. Let everybody come in. How is everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day. Not too hot. I think our little heat wave has calmed down a little bit. Anybody sore from Monday? Because I am. Randomly my hamstrings are really sore and I'm pretty sure that's from one of the warm-up exercises so I think maybe we need to add some ham more hamstring stuff into next week's workout. Selfishly for myself. <clears throat> Do -do -do -do. If you guys didn't hear um, what I said at the beginning or my Instagram post, you grab some um, weights today. Like I said, you'll have the option to go heavier or lighter or no weights, but if you can start adding some weights, especially if you've been doing this with me for a little bit, um, I would try to add some weights today. All right, it's 9.30. You guys ready to warm up? Ugh. All right, let's get started. Warm up. Three, two, one. Exercise one. All right, start with neck movement. So start with your nose. Rotate your head over that shoulder. Nice, purposeful stretch. Switch to yes. All the way up, all the way down. Really take it through the full range of motion. Down to the armpits, nose to your armpit, nose to your armpit. That's halfway. And start moving those arms around. Big shoulder movements. Forward, switch to backward. Start to wake things up a little bit. Three, two, one, rest. All right, next one is a hip hinge with shoulder flexion. So we're just gonna drop our hips back and arms come up. Three, and come two, back. one, exercise two. So hips go back, arms come up. Nice hip hinge motion, hips go straight back. Back stays flat, shoulders come up. Nice and controlled, very purposeful. Push those hips back, raise those arms up. That's halfway. Three. 
three, two, one, rest. All right, 90-90 ER, so I'm working those rotator cuffs, so elbows up to 90 three, degrees. Two, one, exercise three. And just with no weight, we're just gonna go up and down with control. So remember, whenever we do our rotator cuff exercises, we really wanna work on controlling the motion of that. So you're just really rotating around this axis. This point doesn't move when you do rotator cuff exercise. You can drop your elbow a little bit if coming up to full 90 is too much. You can drop your elbow down. That's halfway. And do the same exercise and that's totally fine. But again, you really wanna work on keeping that nice axis as you do these. Next is gonna be a push-up plus. So we're gonna turn on those upper back stabilizers. Three, two, one. Three, Same position. Two, one. Exercise four. And we're pushing up and coming down. Remember up through the upper back, you can do this from your knees. We're just really rounding that upper back. Wake up that serratus muscle, the core of your shoulder. That's halfway. Remember your elbows aren't bending with this. You're just pushing up through your upper back. Three, two, one, rest. Yeah, okay, last one's our thoracic rotation. So we're just gonna do kind of the thread the needle either from straight arm Three, or from your elbow. Two, one, exercise five. So just kind of come in, rotate up. We'll switch halfway to the other side. That's halfway. Switch. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Nice job. All right, switch these timers and then I'll show you guys the first circuit. So the first circuit um, is gonna be working kind of the upper back muscles. So first exercise is a bent over T for a full round and then a bent over W for a full round. So remember when we say T's and W's and I's, whenever we say letter, that's just the shape we're making essentially. So. Bent over, nice strong hip hinge, so hips just go straight back. Nice strong core. Nice strong core, that neutral spine. And then the T position, we're gonna go thumbs up for this. So thumbs up, and then we'll come right up into a T. So arms relatively straight, pinch those shoulder blades. Remember, whenever we're doing these upper back muscles, that's where the motion originates from. So engage those upper back muscles to do that exercise. So we'll do a full round of T's and then we'll do a full round of W's, which is gonna be palms down, elbows tucked in a little bit, and we're coming up and making a W with our arms. Same thing, pinch those shoulder blades together at the top. Second is a split stance X. So what this is gonna look like, we're gonna kind of be in still a hip hinge, but a split stance hip hinge. And it's gonna look like this. So it's almost like we're pulling 
those two weights apart, like if we were holding a band, we'd be making this kind of diagonal position. But we're gonna do it bent over, and then we're gonna go like that. So this one's kind of making a Y, this one's kind of making, we call this down here an I. So we're just pulling that apart. And then for the next round, we'll switch and do the opposite side. Third overhead press. We're gonna kind of close the book with this one. So we'll just do a nice, strong, regular stance. We'll do an overhead press, come down, bring those elbows together, overhead press, and bring the elbows together. If you have any pain with overhead pressing, a couple options, you can just, instead of pressing straight up, just bring your arms down just a little bit and you'll do more of kind of a diagonal press up versus straight up. That should open up some of the space in your shoulder or you could just try to not to, to drop, the weight, drop the weights if you're using weights so it'll be less um, to push up on. Fourth exercise, bent over row with our external rotation. So I think we did these last time. So we're gonna go bent over row into our 90-90 position, and then from there, we'll come up into external rotation. Remember, anytime we're doing rotation for that rotator cuff, nice, strong, stable axis as we come up, okay? Same thing if you're coming up in your row. If up here, kind of this 90 position is too high, drop the elbows a little bit, you can do the same exercise from there. And then the last one is a lunge rotation, so we're gonna stay in the lunge position, and then from there, straight arms. We're gonna, ooh, we're gonna open up. And then we're gonna open up to the other side. Arms stay straight the whole time. Really pulling with that upper back as we do it, okay? All right, that is the first round. Like I said, you guys be the judge of how much weight you can take for this one. Um, for some of these, definitely lighter weights recommended, but like for the overhead press, if you guys have already been lifting that, you wanna add heavier, that's totally fine. All right, you guys ready? Warm up. Let's do it. So bent over, T's are first. So nice, strong hinge position, thumbs up, straight arms, and we're pinching with our shoulder blades. Three, two, one, exercise one. Here we go. Belly button to spine. Ribs are tucked in, and don't forget your head. Tuck that chin in. Really engage those shoulder blades as you do this. That's halfway. Jet, why are you so annoying today? I don't know if you guys can hear Jack, but he just sounds like he cries a lot. <laughs> sounds like he's deflating. Three, a balloon. two, one, rest. Like nice job. Next is the W, so we're making that W with our arms. Pinch and cut back down. We're only doing each once? Yes. Three, two, one, exercise one. So these are very purposeful movements, so you shouldn't be using momentum. Like when I see people do this like bouncy thing, it doesn't really make sense to me. That's halfway. Because you're just kind of using momentum to lift heavier weight when really you should just go down and wait and make the muscle do the whole movement. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay, our split stance X. So let's do right leg forward. If right leg is forward, our left arm is coming up into that. Three, two, one, exercise two. There we go. So you're pulling away. At a diagonal 
motion. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice, let's switch to the other side. Three, two, one, exercise two. So it's almost like they're magnets. They're coming towards each other and you gotta pull them away from each other. Still nice, strong position of that core. Core is engaged, belly button to spine, ribs are tucked in. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. All right, overhead press, and then we're gonna bring those elbows together. Three, two, one, exercise three. Overhead press, elbows together. You still want a nice strong position of your lower body. So my knees are a little bit bent. I want to lock my knees out because if you lock your knees out, it means you're probably going to hinge on your back a little bit more. So bend your knees just a tad, belly button to spine. That's halfway. Especially as you come up, don't let those ribs flare out. Tuck those ribs in. If that means you can't go as high into your overhead press, that's fine. You probably have to work on some upper back mobility. Three, two, one, rest. I don't want you to, to sacrifice. Really try and push it all the way up if you have to arch your back to do it, okay? Tuck the belly button in, tuck those ribs in. Three, two, one, exercise three. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. All right, bend over row to external rotation. So. We're bent over, palms facing back. We're rowing Three, with our elbows two, and one. then coming up into extra exercise four. Row, pinch the shoulder blades, keep them there, externally rotate, and then come down. I know the weight is gonna be a little bit lighter, almost, it's too light for a row, but it's gonna be hard to go heavier because we're going into external rotation. So those muscles That's halfway. are a lot weaker than your upper back muscles. So you kind of have to use a lighter weight with this one. Three, two, one, rest. Also don't worry about how high you go into external rotation. It's gonna be limited by your range of motion, your strength. Three, um, two, one, exercise four. I obviously want you guys to go as high as you can, but if you're going up and going up means you're arching your back or rolling your whole shoulder back to do it, 
then you're just compensating with other muscles in other directions. So just try to isolate. If you guys have a mirror, I don't know if you guys work out in front of a mirror or have a mirror you can move, that's helpful to see. You can watch your elbow as your elbow stays Three, in two, the right position. One, rest. All right, last one is lunge rotation. So we're going to stick on one side, well, whatever side you want to first, and then we're going to go straight arm. Three, two, and rotate. One, exercise five. Straight arm, rotate, and then switch to the other side. Try to rotate with your head. Your head moves along That's with way. your weight. That will help your um, your core, your spine to all rotate with this motion and it not just being an arm flapping movement. Three, two, one, rest. Yeah. Switch to the other side. Three, two, one, exercise five. There we go. Rotate, your head follows that weight. Rotate. This is also gonna ch challenge your balance for your lower body. So it really has to stabilize, be strong for you. That's halfway. What's the problem? Good job, guys. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. All right. Nice job. First round done. Second round is going to be more mat stuff. So let me move you guys down. Okay, so first exercise, round two, is gonna be just a bird dog. So not just a bird dog, but for all of you who don't know how to do the bird dog yet, we're gonna be nice, strong quadruped position, hands under your elbows, I mean, hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, neutral spine, so belly button to spine. From here, from here, you're gonna move opposite Rookie. arm, opposite leg. Rookie. Extend, opposite arm, opposite leg. Come back, extend, opposite arm, opposite leg. This isn't a huge taxing movement on your core. However, it is a huge core stability exercise. So it's requiring you to move your arm and your leg while your core doesn't move at all. So this should not move. You shouldn't be shifting. You shouldn't be arching your back, okay? This stays nice and stable. You're only going as far as this does not move and you're coming back to the beginning. If you can't do opposite arm, opposite leg, then you can just practice just the leg part or just the arm part, okay? But what you should think about is that you should be able to balance a glass of water on your back. That's how stable your back should be, okay? Anybody wants to try that? Go right ahead and send me the video. Okay, so first exercise is bird dog. Second exercise is side plank. Keeping it nice and simple today. We're just gonna hold our side plank position. If you wanna make it more difficult, you can add dips, you can add knee ups, you can add a crunch. Um, but for anybody else, just regular plank. You can also just do a regular plank from your knees. Third exercise is a bear step out and a saw. So from this quadruped position, we're gonna come up into bear, which just, is just take your knees off the ground. So from here, we're gonna step out from bear, 
step out, step back. Once we step back, we're just gonna lean forward a little bit and come back and, oops, step out again, step back, lean forward. As you lean forward, don't sink forward into your shoulders. We're still pressing up, staying strong through our shoulders the whole time, almost like we're doing that push up plus and coming forward, okay? Um, if this is really hard on your wrists as you come forward, because obviously you're going to a lot more wrist extension, you can rotate your hands out a little bit so your wrists won't have to extend as much. Um, or if you guys are using, you know, your weights or whatever you're using for your wrists is fine too. Um, if the bird dog um, was difficult for you, then just stick to a bird dog position, like step out from bird dog, and then you can lean forward. Because if you can't do the bird dog without shifting, then a bear position is probably gonna be pretty difficult to maintain as well. All right, fourth exercise, side plank rotation. We're gonna go back to our side plank, and from here, we're gonna rotate. Nice, strong position of the arm as you rotate, and then fifth exercise is the dead bug. So we're on our back, pressing those backs to the floor, ribs are tucked in, and then we're gonna extend opposite arm, opposite leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. Modifications are keeping your toes down and extending from there, or you can just work on the leg extension or just the arms from there, okay? I'll remind you guys of all that as we go. Let's get into this circuit. Warm up. All right, bird dog is first. Nice, strong, stable bird dogs. Not, not dog dogs, bird dogs. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Here we go, belly button is fine. We're extending, nice, strong position. Coming back, switching, other side. Again, you're not gonna feel super tired after this one, but you should be doing these ones perfectly. Really good control. That's this is, halfway. This is one of those foundational movements that everybody should have down pat. I would love to see you guys do this with a, with a, um, Glass of water Three, on your back. Two, one, rest. Another thing that we do um, with patients, I don't have one here, but if you guys have a dowel or a broomstick, we would balance the broomstick on or a dowel on their back so then you can Three, see if you're two, shifting a lot, one. the broomsticks can Exercise go one. like that. It's just another way to get some feedback about if you're staying stable or not. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay, we're going to side plank. However you want to do your side plank, it's up to you from your knees, from your feet, if you wanna add a dip, if you wanna add a Three, crunch. Three, two, one, exercise two. Here we go. I'm gonna go from my feet, but again, from the knees, you still want everything to be nice and straight, okay? We're not down, we're not really up. And then nice, strong position of your shoulder. So we're not sinking down, push away from your ear. This arm can do That's halfway. whatever it wants to do. Three, two, one, rest. And stop, switch to the other side. You also wanna make sure your hips um, 
are pointing straight up to the ceiling. So you don't want your hips to be rolled forward a lot or rolled back. Three. You try to want to two, have them point straight. One. Exercise two. Oh. Nora, you stink. Nora has the worst smelling breath. So then when they play like this, Rookie's face ends up smelling like her breath and it's so gross. Yeah. Oh. That's halfway. Stinks. Good job, guys. Touch those obliques. Three, Are they on? Two. Tell them to wake one. up. Rest. All right, bear step out to the saw. So we're in our bear position. We're stepping out, nice stable position on your back. And then from there, rock forward into a saw. Three, two, one. Exercise three. Here we go. Bear step out, nice strong position. Rock forward into a saw. Remember you can Externally rotate your shoulders if coming forward into a saw is really painful for your wrists. That will help with that. That's halfway. No. I feel like they know when we're in like a vulnerable position. We can't use our arms. So it's like, well, let me lick his face now. Three, two. One, rest. Nice job. We're gonna a lot of stability. Three, fine tuning two, movements. Today. One, exercise three. Bear, step out, step back, and come forward. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay, slide plank rotation. So whether you're from your feet or from your knees, we're gonna add Nice rotation to that, staying strong through that shoulder. Three, two, one, exercise four. Here we go. Rotate without sinking into your shoulder. That's halfway. Why do you gotta sit right there? Hmm? Okay. Three, two, one, rest. Good job. Other side. Three, two, mouth. one, exercise four. Here we go. Rotate. We're staying nice and strong. We're not sinking into anything. That's halfway. Nice job, guys. Three, two, one, rest. All right, last one, dead bug. 
Another foundational exercise. So let's get it right. We're pressing our backs to the floor. Remember, post to your pelvic Three, tilt. Two. Belly button to spine. Exercise five. Ribs are tucked in and you're still breathing. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Remember, you're only going as far as your back stays pressed to the ground. So if you're coming out and your back is doing this, that means you're not controlling this movement, okay? So that might mean that you have to stay a little bit higher. That's halfway. With your leg extension, or you might have to practice just the leg extension, or you might have to go from the floor, okay? Remember, a lot of these core exercises is, can you maintain this as you move your legs and arms? That's the challenge. And if you're doing this, three, that means you're two, not maintaining that position. One. Rest. That's gross, sorry. You just did. I was just like wiggling Three, my toes. Two, <laughs> my one, exercise five. All right, here we go. Again, you might not feel super sweaty or tired after the Ricky after Ricky. this, but Ricky. if you do this well, All right. that means your core is doing a really good job right. of stabilizing. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Nice job. Nice little. Whoo, nice little toning circuit okay last circuit we're still gonna stay on the ground actually bringing back a fan favorite push up to suitcase so we're in our push-up position we're slowly coming down lowering rotate rotate as a log we're doing a log roll so we're not um, doing shoulders, then hips, shoulders and hips go together. From there, suitcase, roll into push-up. Remember, everything's staying together. So from your push-up, when you're pushing up, you're engaging first and then coming up as one solid plank. You're not doing this, okay? If you're pushing up from your knees, same thing, engage and then push up from there, okay? Next exercise is a tricep push up to a down dog. So tricep push up just means your arms are gonna be a little bit closer to your body and your elbows are going straight back so they're not coming out at all. So we're gonna do tricep push up from there into a down dog. If you're going from your knees, tricep push up and then you can still come up into your down dog. So remember our down dogs, we're pushing up with the upper back and pushing back to engage that serratus muscle. Third exercise is elbow plank walk up. So your hamstring mobility is really gonna dictate how you do this exercise. So we are gonna stay on our elbows for this. And from here, I want you to try to walk up as far as you can, and then you can walk back. You can walk up with your knees. I still want it to be a lot of knee bend, try to keep your legs as straight as you can personally. They're allowed to bend a little bit because I do want you to try to get a little bit of height with this, but I don't just don't want the knees to be like this, okay? So have them a little bit more straight. Just go as high as you can, walk up and walk back. Fourth, step, fourth exercise is the diamond push-up. So you're gonna make a diamond with your hands I'm gonna do this one for my knees because I really don't do this one very often. But from here, you're gonna come down as far as you can and come back up. It's a little bit more of a tricep um, exercise. And then last one is a down dog to a cobra. So, excuse me, dad. Ricky. So we're gonna go what are you doing? down dog, kind of like a chaturanga in um, yoga. So we're going down dog, we're gonna come down 
into a cobra, okay? Come back down to a down dog. So if you have to do this from your knees, down dog, drop to your knees, come down into a cobra, come back down into a down dog, okay? Nice and controlled, this is not a quick movement. Um, especially as we're going into extension, we want that to be con a controlled extension. I can't talk today. Um, okay, let's do it. Last circuit and we're all done. Here we go. Warm up. Oops. Exercise one. Oops, what's happening? Warm up. There we go. Okay. Push up to suitcase. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go this way. Three, two, one. Exercise one. Here we go. So we're coming down. Nice solid unit. Rolling as a unit. Coming up and rotating. Solid unit before we come back up. So we're gonna rotate to one side for a whole round and switch to the other side. That's halfway. Nice and controlled. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, nice job. Switch to the other side so that you're rolling the other direction. Three, two, one, exercise one. There we go. Suitcase and roll. That's halfway. Push-up to down dog. Girl, you gotta watch yourself. Three, two, one. Exercise two. Here we go. So tricep, elbows, rookie. Rookie. Elbows are in. You're going straight back. Tricep push-up. Coming up into a down dog. I'm going for my knees because... Rookie, why are you doing this? <laughs> No, come on, come on. That's halfway. <sighs> Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. So just reminding you guys again, elbow push up, I mean, Tricep push-ups, hands closer to the body. Elbows are going straight back. They're staying tucked in. Three, They're not flaring two, out. One, exercise two. That's halfway. Good job, guys. Really focus on your form. Really keep that body one solid unit as you come down. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, elbow plank walk up. So we're on our elbows and remember, we're just going up as high as our body lets us, and then we're coming back down Three, into place. Two, 
One. Exercise three. Oh, yeah. That's halfway. targets the shoulders. Anytime you go more from the elbow three, versus a straight arm, two, one. Exercise three. you're going to challenge the shoulder a little bit more. Remember, you can go from bent knees for this if your hamstrings are really tight. That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, all right, diamond push up, diamond. We're making a diamond on Three, the floor. Two, one. Exercise four. Still nice, strong position in your core and upper body. We're coming down and coming back up. Huh? Your hands don't have to be perfectly touching. That's probably the most difficult version. You can come apart just a little bit, but you still want to keep them a little bit closer in together. That's halfway. Again, this is a little bit more tricep. If you feel like this is too difficult, just do regular push-up. Three, two, one, rest. What's you doing? Those are weird. Three. Two, one, exercise four. Think. <laughs> That's halfway. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. All right, last one, down dog to cobra. Very controlled motion. So we're going down dog. We're coming down. Three, cobra. two, one. Back into down dog. Exercise five. Down dog, remember you can go from your knees from here. Down, cobra, and come back up. Contro nice controlled cobra. I don't want this really fast motion. That's halfway. Your butt. Three, two, 
One. <laughs> Exercise five. Did it. Last exercise, guys. We're done after this. That's halfway. Three, two, one. Your timer is complete. Ah, nice job, everybody. Oy. Nice little arm core circuit. See, not too bad today. Let's get a nice little cool down in. Oy. All right, let's do our barrel hugs, bear hugs. So we're coming back, push those that upper back out, stretch that serratus, those rhomboids. And then we're gonna come back, open up our hands, open up our chest, our upper back, and roll through those two motions. So we did a couple foundational moves today, especially in that middle section of the bird dog and um, dead bug and even the plank. Um, if you guys are having trouble with those moves, then um, look, I posted a video a while ago on my um, IGTV page um, talking you through those exercises. You guys should really have those exercises down pat. Even if you can't hold it for the full 45 seconds, you should um, be able to recognize the correct uh, positioning, whether you're in the correct positioning, how to self-correct if you're not. So, because those are kind of the base of all the other exercises we do, plank, bird dog, dead bug. So those three exercises you should have pretty much down. Um, if you don't, then really you shouldn't be making it any harder than that. You should get that down first. So if you guys gotta add those little extra into your workouts, then do that to get those down. All right, let's thread the needle. So let's go from our elbow, make it a little bit deeper. Thread through and then rotate. Um, a lot of people are asking me like what else I do during the week for these exercises. Really, I've been doing mostly these exercises and maybe adding a day of like, we go on a long walk or something like that or a little stretch, but I'm gonna start adding, because we really don't work out heavy weights um, in these circuits, just mostly so everybody has the ability to do them. Um, but for those who wanna add more, like for myself, I'm probably gonna be adding, sorry, switch sides for the um, thread the needle. I'm probably gonna add one more, one heavy leg day. So like today might be a good day for that since I did arm and core. Um, just so, you know, when you add weights, you're definitely gonna build muscle a lot faster and build that lean tissue. Um, so if you guys have that option to add heavier weights, then I would definitely do like at least one extra day of that. Um, if you guys are just like strictly doing my workouts. So just a little tidbit, I'm gonna start doing that as well because I just haven't been recently and usually I do. Just need to get back into it. All right, let's do a couple cat camels and then we'll be all done. So let's just roll between our cat camels. Just kind of a global movement. You don't have to do a segmental, but if you want to, you can just do lumbar cat camel, which is just the lower half, or you can just do the upper body cat camel, which is kind of more your upper back and neck. Whatever you want to do, let's roll through that a couple times.
two more times. All right, nice job, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, core and arms. Um, nice job today. Friday is gonna be our high intensity, intensity cardio circuit, um, probably full body, probably a little bit more legs because you know, legs are just so fun to do. So good job today. Um, and then I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.